Hello and welcome to Photoshop for Beginners. The purpose of this video is to show you how to do some of the most basic tasks within Photoshop very quickly and easily. Now I'm going to show you how to do a few things. How to create a watermark file, also known as a graphic overlay. Some simple photo retouching tips that go a long way in retouching and modifying your photos. How to create a green screen background, which is sometimes used in combination with a green screen overlay. How to convert a PNG or a JPEG to an EPS file. So let's get started. How to create a watermark file, also known as a graphic overlay. So I'm just going to launch Photoshop and I'm going to file open and here is my logo. And if I open up my logo, you can see here that what I want to be displayed on my photo or video is just the words, not the background. So I don't want this white background, I just want the logo. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is right click on this background layer and I'm going to duplicate that layer. Now if you don't see this layers menu here, we can click on window, layers, and that will appear right here. So now that I've made a copy of my background, I'll just simply select it and we can use this magic wand tool. And I'm going to set the tolerance at 50 out of 100 just to start off. And I'm going to click anywhere on the white because I want to remove that white and I'm going to hit delete on the keyboard. That's going to actually delete that white. Now at the same time, let's also hide this background layer. So let's click on the little eye and that will hide that layer. Let's make sure we have this background copy selected. And you can see that we've removed the background, which is great, but there is still some white in between these letters here. So if I click on this white, I could either just click on each bit of white and hit the delete key, or I can click on the white, I can hold the shift key, and I can just click on all of the white, all of the areas that I want to select, and I can select multiple areas at once. So I'll just select all of these little bits of white, and I'm just holding the shift key. And once I have everything selected, I'll just click on delete and select deselect and that's really all we need to do. So it looks like we've removed all of the white from our logo here. Now we're just left with the letters. The thing is is that this is way too big for my graphic overlay or my watermark. I just want this to be in the bottom right hand corner. I want it to be much smaller than 27 inches. So I'm just going to make sure I have that layer selected and we can go to edit free transform and when we click on free transform we can hold the shift key and we can click one of these corners and we can just drag and make this smaller if we don't hold the shift key it's gonna possibly get out of shape here but just by holding the shift key it forces it to stay and so yeah let's just make it something like that that looks great and I'm going to use this crop tool and we're just going to crop and select everything that we want and we can click on enter and that will crop the photo for us I'm actually going to delete this background layer because I just don't need it and this is really all I need I just need these uh, letters here this is my logo so next let's file save as and we're going to save this as a PNG. Uh, very important that we save it as a PNG because if we save it as a JPEG, it's going to add this white background. And we don't want the white background, we just want the letters. So we need to make sure that we save it as a PNG. So I'll save that as a PNG, I'll just call it watermark. And I selected PNG right there and click on save. So that'll save it as a PNG, and now I can take this watermark file and I can place it on top of another file. But let's just say you need your watermark to be a specific dimension right from the get-go, because this watermark is only 3 inches or 4 inches wide. So let's just say you needed to create a new watermark, file, new, 
and let's create this watermark just the size of a standard photo. So width would be 6 inches and the height would be 4 inches. And I'm going to change the resolution to 300 so we have just a better image, higher quality image. So we have a, just a basic 6 by 4 new file here that we're creating in Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to now place my watermark onto this file here. So let's just go to File, Open, and here is my watermark, PNG, and I'm just going to select all of this, Edit, Copy, go back to my template here, Edit, Paste, I'm just going to paste that there, and you can see that that's going to show up right in this corner. I want it to show up right there. I'm actually going to Edit, free transform and I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger and that looks great I'm just gonna leave it right there but wait we don't want all of this white background we don't want that to be there we're gonna delete the background like we did before and so there we go here is an overlay file or a graphic watermark that's the size of a standard photo 6x4 and we'll just save this once again save as as a watermark and we'll save it as a PNG and that's really all we need to do that's a PNG okay okay and so that's our 6x4 watermark so that's how you create a watermark or a graphic overlay in Photoshop remember to save that file as a PNG and to delete that background layer which in my example was that white background layer also pay attention to the resolution. If you remember, I made mine at 300 DPI, but you might need to make yours at 72 or 150 or 300 DPI. And also remember the dimensions of the file that I created. One of my watermarks was only three inches by two inches, while the other watermark was a standard size of a photo, six by four, and I placed the watermark in the lower right-hand corner of that six by four photo. So if you have any questions or any comments at all, feel free to leave a comment on this video. In the next video, we're going to cover some simple photo retouching tips that go a long way regardless of what you're doing that really applies to all types of projects. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in part two.